Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we will be making one of the easiest cocktails in the world to make. So much so that I was drinking these cocktails when I was 21. We are of course talking about the screwdriver. So during the video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to make this drink. We're gonna talk about the cocktail family that the screwdriver lives inside of and stay tuned to the very end because we're gonna use that formula to come up with a really interesting and fun cocktail. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran in the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. So we're gonna make the screwdriver here in a moment, but before we do, let's quickly talk about the cocktail family that the screwdriver lives inside of. Now, in our opinion, the screwdriver lives inside of a cocktail family known as the highball. Some of the hallmarks of a highball is they are really easy to make. You're gonna simply build the cocktail in the glass that you're gonna be drinking out of and that's pretty much it. As far as ingredients, you're gonna need a base root, a mixer, and if you're feeling a little extra fancy, throw in a garnish, and that's pretty much a highball. Now, there are many popular cocktails that live inside of the highball family, the Cape Cod, the rum and coke, technically even a Bloody Mary can be considered part of this family. Now, there are many different variations on this style of cocktail, including variations on the screwdriver. Some of the more popular variations of this drink is the Harvey Wallbanger and the Fuzzy Navel. Now, the Harvey Wallbanger is simply a screwdriver with the addition of Galliano, that weird tall bottle that nobody seems to ever get rid of. Now, the second one is a Fuzzy Navel, and that one is simply the addition of peach schnapps. So you can see that you can have a lot of fun inside of this cocktail family, adding additional flavors and making this a little bit more complex of a drink. But there's no better way to show you how easy this is to make than to make one. So let's go ahead and show you how to make a screwdriver. To make our screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and start by filling up our glass completely with ice. So next, we're gonna go ahead and add our base fruit, vodka in this case, right to the glass. And finally, we're just gonna to top it off with orange juice. Give it a stir, and now for the hardest part of this entire cocktail, we gotta cut a garnish. That's pretty much it. And there we have it, the screwdriver. Now it is time for us to go ahead and try the screwdriver. Cheers. That tastes like I'm 21 again. It just tastes like orange juice and vodka. There's nothing complicated about this particular cocktail. And that's kind of the beauty of it. It is very, very simple. So now let's go ahead and create a little bit more interesting of a cocktail based off of that highball cocktail family formula. So now let's go ahead and make a fancy version of the highball. So here we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and grab our glass and immediately I'm gonna add some strawberry tincture. So this is just a really powerful kind of strawberry extract almost. We're just gonna add that right to our glass. Now we're gonna go ahead, add our ice, and build the rest of the cocktail on top of that. The base spirit that we're gonna be using is gonna be mezcal. So it brings a nice kind of rich smokiness to the cocktail. And now for the fancy part, we're gonna have hibiscus ginger beer. So we're kind of dancing around a Moscow mule, but we're introducing a ton of different flavors here. Do love the color. So now we're just gonna go ahead and mix those ingredients together. And for the garnish, we're just gonna give a nice bouquet of mint here. And there we have it, a really fancy highball. And now to go ahead and taste our creation. Cheers. That is super fun. There are a lot of different layers of flavor that's happening here. You get that nice subtle strawberry, you get the smoke from the mezcal, a nice kind of meatiness and weight to it ginger hits, and then you get that floral rush of kind of the hibiscus. That is a really, really delicious cocktail. 
So now when we kind of put these two cocktails side by side, we can kind of see some of the, you know, differences that we see between these. First of all, with the screwdriver, you have a really easy, very not complex cocktail. And that's really good if that's kind of what you're going for. But on the other hand, the same amount of effort with just a couple extra steps, you have something that has a lot more flavor. It's a lot more visually interesting and it's just a more delicious cocktail in my opinion. There are pros and cons to both, but I'll let you decide which is best for you. There we have it. We have made the screwdriver. We've talked about the highball family and we've used the formula of the highball to create our own really delicious and visually exciting cocktail, which is here. We've also used our own strawberry tincture that we created in our bitters course to add additional flavor to our cocktails. So if you want to learn more about the courses that we offer, including the bitters course and the tools that we use throughout this video, head on over to shop.abarabove.com. We know that you have watched videos like this in the past and you know exactly what we're going to ask you to do. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you'll get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the highball. Cheers.